Hello class, this is Mr. Beltran. Here I'm going to talk about solving equations with triangles. We have three triangles here. Right now we're not going to worry about the name of these triangles. But we have this triangle with all three sides. The angle measurements look like they're about the same. The side lengths look about they're the same. We have this triangle here, which one corner of it has a box within the triangle that lets us know, as we as learned before, it indicates that this is a 90 degree angle. We have another triangle over here with this side length very long and it, ex it, it causes the triangle to extend. We have this phrase that the total angle measurement for any triangle is 180 degrees. So you notice that we have these three different triangles and all these three di different triangles when we add up the angle measurements it's going to equal 180 degrees. All right, we have these boards. On these boards there's a straight line on the boards. A straight line has an angle measurement of 108 degrees. We're going to see how is that and why is that the case. We have one for one triangle, another one for another triangle, and then a third one for other triangle. So he has to have these shapes here. There's a triangle here that's similar to the triangle that we have on the board. So all three sides these look like they're about the same. Then we have this triangle with that right angle and this triangle with the top portion looks as if it's been extended. What we'll notice that all these three different triangles have the same angle measurements, total angle measurements of 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tear the corners off. These triangles, each corner, I'm going to tear off A, I'm going to tear off B, I'm going to tear off C. Yes, yeah, so each of these triangles, I'm going to tear off a corner. And then I'm going to reassemble the corners onto these boards. So we have angle A, which I'm going to assemble back onto. So I have three corners in front of me that I'm going to tape down onto this whiteboard, onto this straight line. So these were the corners, corner A, corner B, and then corner C. That came from the triangle in which I turned them off, tear it off, and now have my corners. So I'm going to reassemble the corners onto this line. So I have corner A, and I'm going to include corner B and corner C. And once I include these three corners onto my shape, onto this line, you will notice something about the corners which I find somewhat interesting and it shows why when you have these triangles and it forms a straight line and that a straight line has a angle measurement of 180 degrees. Here we go. Oh, let me type that a little bit better. Apologize, you can't see what I'm doing, but you're going to see the finished product. You're going to see the finished product. Yes, you will. And we have this and this, is, this was a triangle that had a three side links that seemed to be about the same. Here we go. We have our A, B, C. I tore off the corners and I placed them on this straight line. So each of these corners, when we add them up, gives 180 degrees. That also tells us that a straight line has 180 degrees. Okay, I want to do the same thing with our other triangles. So we have this triangle that looks like a 90 degree angle. What am I going to do? I am going to tear off the corners. Tear off corner A. Tear off corner B. And then tear off corner C. And then I'm going to reassemble the corners onto this sheet of and two, onto this line. And we will notice something interesting. You notice that the each corner looks different from what we had before. But once we put them together onto this right line, onto, onto this straight line, oh, we're going to notice something very interesting. Yes, we will. And if you want to try this at home, feel free. Please do. If you feel like doing it at home, get some triangles. 
tear the corners off the triangles and then you'll get each corner of the triangles and you can reassemble them and once you reassemble them you will notice that the corners line up on a straight line forming a 180 degree angle <coughs> our last one Again, this is the triangle over here with angle A seems like it's ex extended out triangle seems to be extended what are we going to do we are going to tear the corners off yes and this is it works a lot better and a lot easier if you tear the corners instead of trying to cut the corners off so I'm, again getting each corner I'm tearing the corners off so I tore off corner C corner A corner A and corner B and what I'm going to do with each corner I am going to reattach it onto this line here yes we're going to reattach each corner I'm going to reattach corner A corner B and then corner C what we will notice that's going to equal what we'll notice is that's going to equal 180 degrees that's going to fit on that straight line so it doesn't matter the triangle it does not matter the triangle as we see, saw here we have three different types of triangles and i'm taping and i tore the corner off of each triangle and i'm retaping it onto the straight line to show to prove to give you evidence well mr Ed, that's what i asked for i asked for evidence give me evidence on why the three corners of a triangle equal 180 degrees and this is why here we go because we got students out there that want to know the, the why not the how but the why here we go with the last one here we so i attached it as you see you have corner a corner b corner c and when i attach it, it fit along that straight line and a straight line is 180 degrees Straight line is 180 degrees. So that's 180 degrees. This is 180 degrees. And then we have our very first one, which was also 180 degrees. Okay, it says 180, and that little symbol right there is our degree. And I'm not talking about degree, we're talking about heat or coldness. Talking about degrees and on an angle for an angle measurement. Okay, class, we're going to use this information to help us solve other questions. Thank you for paying attention and listening up on solving equations with uh, triangles. Uh, again, this is the very basis of it that all angle measurements, all triangle measurements for a triangle equals 180 degrees. So we're going to use that information and we're going to solve equations with this thank you and i want to have another video on this and be safe out there as we say be good <laughs>